Колеги, доброго дня. Ми продовжуємо нашу роботу в Українському кризовому медіа-центрі в рамках проєкту «Шлях до Криму». Наразі дізнаємося, що міф і реальність навколо нашумілої історії з картиною Айвазовського, що була продана на аукціоні «Крістіс» в Лондоні 6 червня цього року, яке вона має відношення до колекції, що зберігається в Феодосівському музеї в Криму. Також ми дізнаємося, яка ситуація з культурною спадщиною на тимчасово окупованих територіях. До слова, я запрошую начальника управління музейної справи та культурних цінностей Міністерства культури України Василя Рожка. Пане Василю, прошу. Доброго дня. Good afternoon. A couple of words about Ivazovsky picture, which was uh, sold at the Christie's auction. Uh, some mass media suggest uh, that it uh, originates from the uh, Feodosia. Ivazovsky Museum. As of today, we uh, know at least uh, five uh, pictures by Ivazovsky uh, with uh, similar names, uh, the sheep rack. Uh, uh, they are uh, in Venice Museum, in St. Petersburg Museum, in uh, um, Feodosia Art Gallery. They have at least two pictures with this similar name um, dating from uh, 86, uh, 1886 and 1875 years. Uh, the information about the sold picture was that it was uh, um, uh, suggested for auction by the French collectioner. Uh, and uh, uh, probably to clarify the mm, Situation which uh, which picture uh, was uh, sold? We need uh, to contact a special cultural mission of UNESCO, maybe, and uh, encourage them to work in Europe. And uh, we understand that Russia may continue uh, this uh, sale of. Um, pictures from uh, museums in occupied territories and we encourage the world museums not to make such deals with uh, the Russian Ministry of Culture. And uh, um, as for the cultural treasures uh, uh, in the occupied territory, there is a tragedy not just for those people who remained in the occupied territory, but also for the cultural treasures. Uh, Russia had changed the legislation in occupied uh, ter territory. And uh, uh, while uh, we uh, even now can uh, keep control over those uh, artifacts which are um, uh, transported via onshore routes. Uh, we cannot control, of course, the offshore routes and uh, sea routes. Uh, that's uh, true about Crimea. That's true about temporary occupied Donbass territory. As for the Mm, as for our possibilities to act in this situation, uh, the statistics uh, which we have suggest that 70% uh, of uh, uh, museums, there are 70 museums uh, which we believed uh, uh, remained in the occupied territories, but the latest data suggests there is around 100 of them. And uh, the, uh, they contain uh, between one uh, million twenty hundred of thousand and two million of different objects which remained in those uh, uh, territories. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, during some period of time, the um, registration of objects and statistical uh, 
keeping of records in the uh, of the objects of art objects uh, was uh, held in the museums at the local level and uh, um, currently we have understood that we have to carry out uh, the register of cultural values of artifacts uh, and exhibits which are stored in the museums in order to be able to keep control over all those uh, things we have to have a, a unified comprehensive register of course today we are uh, uh, in the uh, in course in the midst of reform uh, of museums uh, and uh, we are doing simultaneously many new things and uh, innovations in this area of course we have to uh, introduce uh, changes uh, not related to the war too in mid 19 in mid 2014 uh, by mid 2014 there were no uh, mm, uh, well-designed action plans uh, uh, as of the emergency situations, the old Soviet system of cultural treasures evacuation uh, was almost uh, was still in place, but it was almost forgotten. And uh, when um, the territories were occupied, the cultural treasures were not evacuated from there. Currently, we establish contacts uh, uh, with the regions, with oblast centers. During the last several, uh, the last two years, we uh, uh, held several meetings with nine uh, eastern and southern oblasts of Ukraine, uh, with the major museums. Uh, and local authorities uh, and today we can be sure due to that communication that in case of emergency they will know what to do as uh, uh, for uh, uh, Crimea uh, we have uh, several experts who were properly trained at the international level in the area of uh, cultural treasures preservation and uh, restoration. Uh, we have Les Dechenko and Ihar Pashevaila. They uh, have uh, hold. Uh, they have held uh, several trainings uh, here in Ukraine. One of the biggest was in the Pishnya uh, village. And uh, today, as of today, we have a network of museum experts. Uh, who are well? Uh, who are specially trained for the emergency situations uh, to cultural treasures? We have developed uh, a number of brochures, uh, um, leaflets, uh, and uh, some uh, visual aids uh, for museum workers. in this area. As for the contacts with the people in the occupied territories, people uh, are frightened. They do not wish to establish contacts with us. Um, Had of Lugansk Museum spent uh, uh, two months in the uh, underground prison of just just after a false uh, uh, condemnation and uh, um, unfortunately we cannot establish direct contacts with museum and clarify the current situation in them also we have got information about those uh, uh, ruinations uh, uh, 
Unfortunately, the Donetsk Oblast uh, muse Art Museum uh, was damaged out of 29 uh, ex exhibition rooms, 25 were destroyed. This is the biggest loss in museum collections in the occupied territory. Of course, preservation of museum exhibits depends on several factors on the strategy, of course, on the implementation tools for this strategy, on the skills and knowledge of the museum personnel, and on the availability of register of uh, cultural treasures and museum values. And uh, that's why um, we today have started this work to be prepared for any emergency situation. Thank you. The next speaker is Timur Bobrovsky, the member of Ukrainian Committee of International Council on uh, Monuments and uh, uh, ICOMOS. Good afternoon. In fact, uh, I was invited to say a few words uh, on the status of the monuments on the temporary occupied territory of Crimea and in the southeast. I can just uh, join uh, the words uh, talking about southeast. Uh, occupied uh, regions um, and um, in fact uh, we don't have uh, any information as to what is the situation with the monuments uh, uh, of the heritage on these territories. The archaeologists uh, who uh, are now in the ATO zone, they say that uh, at the um, contact line, they say what's happening with archaeological uh, uh, monuments there because of the heavy equipment because of digging the trenches, all that uh, impacts uh, um, uh, the monuments. Uh, we are losing the monuments, but uh, they can tell about two monuments, not more, but we don't have any a general picture because this territory is closed for visiting and it's understood from the point of view of being occupied uh, that people are very aggressive towards the representatives of uh, Ukraine, uh, the specialists who were uh, going there from Ukraine. It's also closed from the military uh, point of view. Even the military do not want to contact uh, people who are preserving the monuments. The similar situation in the Crimea. I can tell you today that uh, on the territory of Crimea there are more than 10,000 uh, items of the cultural heritage. Uh, out of them, only more about more than 1,000 are included into the register. Um, uh, 1,000 as the local significance monuments and 60 as national significance. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, this work has been stopped now. But talking about what is uh, um, included into the state register, we don't have any objective information on that, because today uh, the Ukrainian specialists have no opportunity to work in Crimea. They cannot work in the Crimea 
uh, Ukrainian mass media cannot work in Crimea. They could have uh, helped us uh, receive some objective information. Even foreign mass media are not uh, accredited in the Crimea because of the sanctions. Uh, and all the information that we get, this is the information from Russian mass media, which is filtered information. It is supplied, uh, submitted uh, in a certain format, and uh, also, also the contacts that uh, the experts have between themselves. Uh, we receive some information from such people on what's happening. And um, also, we are mostly uh, concerned with the monuments which were recognized by international communities as the monuments of world heritage in 2013. Uh, and the uh, old uh, city Hirsonesus was included into Hirsonesus was included into the World Heritage, and several are to be included into the list of the World Heritage. And these are some items in Bakhchisarai, the Khan's Palace, uh, the Iskikirmen and Mangoop cave cities, the fortress Genoa, Genoa uh, fortress in Sudak and uh, also the observatory of the 19th century near Simferopol. Several uh, uh, items, uh, several monuments are included into the preliminary, preliminary list, but we cannot uh, uh, monitor what's happening with them. We know that in this year and a half in Kirsanes, there were some scandals related to the leadership of the leadership changes of this uh, preserve, but we understand that these scandals were uh, related to the principal position of the people who work in the preserve who were uh, not allowing uh, military organizations and Orthodox Church to interfere because they started huge works on the territory of the preserve. And twice, uh, even uh, if it sounds strange, but twice the uh, group of uh, people uh, of uh, the uh, the group of people who work in the preserve, they organized strikes, and the strikes uh, finished uh, uh, by uh, canceling the decision. Uh, uh, to appoint uh, the head of the preserve, to, to appoint the um, uh, archbishop, archbishop of the church to become the director of the preserve. And the position of the preserve allowed to cancel this decision. Last week we received information that again they started uh, uh, trying to remove the leadership of the preserve and the current director uh, is uh, mm, sacked, the new one is not appointed and we do not know what could be the threats related to new appointment, but because the Orthodox Church has a very big plans as to constructing the patriotic Orthodox Cultural Center, just on the verge of ancient Khersonas, we understand what could be the threat to Khersonas. We know that last year they ruined uh, one of the uh, um, towers uh, in uh, Genoa uh, fortress in Sudak. Uh, Russian mass media wrote about that. We don't know about uh, of any details, but we know that the monument is now in very bad condition. Two weeks ago, Crimean Tata community of Bakhchisarai wrote an open letter to the Minister of Culture of Russian Federation as to awful condition of uh, the palace of Crimean Khans in Bakhchisarai, that the roof is leaking there, 
the, the monument uh, is turning into an uh, emergency uh, object, and we know that there is certain political context uh, there, because this palace is the symbol of Crimean Tata people, of their spirit, and today Crimean Tatars are perceived by Russian authorities as the fifth column, and they're trying to fight them uh, in any way possible. And what we could could do, what would be uh, worth doing for Ukraine to somehow preserve the monuments which are located on the occupied territory in Crimea, we can use the mechanism which uh, is uh, in the UNESCO's uh, statute and the ECOMOS statute, which is uh, 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 creating international monitoring missions. The Ukrainian Committee ECOMOS last year addressed the Ministry of Culture with the request uh, so that the Ministry of Culture at the session of the center of the world heritage of unesco so that they tell state about that problem that ukraine has taken the commitment to manage these uh, objects but now cannot do it and so now hirsanes should be uh, moved in uh, to the list of the world uh, heritage uh, uh, monuments which are under threat and then it would allow to organize international monitoring missions which would monitor the condition of this monument and which would uh, and because uh, the unesco is the intergovernmental organization, they could lead to certain uh, actions at the diplomatic level. But unfortunately, the ministry a year ago did not react to that. Today, we have the chance in the end of the June, there will be another session of the Center World Heritage. Ukrainian delegation will go there and uh, the representatives of the Ministry of Culture and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will be included into the delegation that today they could make an address uh, to with the request to start with this monument, Kirsan Estavrisky, then to suggest we have in 2013 we have prepared the nomination file for uh, the Crimean Khan's palace and Bakhchisarai and to um, suggest that it is uh, included into the list of objects uh, of monuments which are under threat. So we have uh, uh, the uh, scenario ready, but unfortunately our authorities starting from the Ministry of Culture and down to the National Commission on uh, UNESCO and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they do not react to these addresses of uh, our organizations, even though ICOMOS, the headquarters of uh, ICOMOS is in Paris, that's the head organization of ICOMOS. Last year, they reacted to the initiative of the Ukrainian Committee. And uh, they said that if there is a uh, request from the state of Ukraine, then the International Council of uh, the Monuments uh, will support our efforts. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a uh, questions to both our presenters. The first question: Whether am I? Uh, I'm right when I uh, understand that uh, we have the list of uh, cultural monuments which remained in Crimea, which uh, are beyond our control, and uh, we do not know what happened to those monuments and uh, whether they have been preserved. Um, and uh, we do not know in w what is the situation with those monuments. And the question to Mr. Vasily, you mentioned uh, that you have a response plan, but um, 
if the Ivazovsky picture was sold from the um, Crimean uh, art collection, well, how you will respond to this uh, fact? I would start to answer. We have the list of uh, cultural objects which remain uh, remained in Crimea. Uh, this is not exhaustive list, uh, but nevertheless, there is uh, the list. And uh, from that bridge uh, between Taman Peninsula and uh, uh, Crimea to Crimea, we definitely know that uh, Unfortunately, all the ground uh, works are carried uh, out in Crimea without archaeological survey. And uh, in result of this um, construction works, uh, many uh, archaeological monuments are lost. Unfortunately, we cannot get access and only international monitoring mission to Kerch would be able to um, establish at least some control over that um, ruination. Uh, I also will try to answer. Uh, we have uh, uh, some problems uh, due to the fact that uh, uh, old register of cultural objects uh, was uh, uh, kept in uh, hard copy versions and uh, um, nevertheless we try to restore this data but uh, 75 uh, museums, uh, uh, d uh, data about collections of museums uh, uh, last. Uh, 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 as of today, 17 museums in Sebast Sebastopol um, uh, and uh, in Crimea, we have all another uh, almost 30 museums and around uh, 35 museums in the occupied Donbass. Uh, uh, we are trying to restore information about their collections. In order to uh, prevent uh, losses, similar losses of information in the future, we have changed the system. As uh, for as for the uh, uh, emergency situation or emergency response, uh, um, uh, the thefts of pictures uh, or uh, thefts of uh, uh, art objects during the war, um, they do not happen too often uh, in result of war and other circumstances. Recently, we uh, uh, had a good example when the uh, Viking sword was uh, uh, brought back from Estonia to Ukraine, and this is a unique example of the uh, coming uh, of returning back the archaeological object. Uh, actually, there is a special convention, international convention, which provides uh, for the bringing back of illegally uh, transported uh, cultural objects. As of today, uh, the uh, uh, Skissian gold, uh, uh, which remains in the Netherlands, uh, 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 is such an object. Uh, 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 they are currently uh, under court proceedings. And uh, now, as for archaeological excavations in Ukraine, all the archaeological excavations should be carried out upon uh, special permits of the centralized archaeological authority. Since this authority receives no requests for the service from Crimea, it does not issue such permits, and all those excavations could be seen as illegal. 
the uh, 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 recent expropriation of pictures uh, which were uh, transported from Mariupol to Simferopol. Uh, uh, this was one picture by Shishkin and one picture by Ivazovsky. Uh, uh, this operation was uh, stopped uh, and we prevented uh, this transfer. Uh, uh, last year, we read about the archive of uh, Strugatsky's brothers, uh, which was uh, um, uh, transported into Ukraine. Uh, the Strugatsky's archive uh, was kept in Donetsk by one of their friends uh, since uh, Strugatsky's brothers in some moment were prohibited for publication in all Soviet Union and uh, that's why it was privately transported into Ukrainian territory. Uh, and uh, I'm not Oksana Mitnitska. Uh, mm, I would like to say that in your intervention, you raised many uh, important issues which should be publicized and uh, be known to a uh, broad public. So mm, we men you mentioned that uh, uh, you would like to implement a set of measures to be informed what's going on in the occupied territories. And the second, my question, how international community can be involved in the, this process, how they can help and what actually they can do, what we have specifically to request from the international community to, to help us. As the leader of the Department of Cultural uh, uh, Treasures, uh, I will speak about my area of responsibility, what we can request for. We can uh, request for bringing back of uh, museum treasures, uh, um, but this could not be seen as a separate action from bringing back people, and uh, this cannot be separated from the existence of government control or military control over the territory. That is, we cannot bring uh, cultural values, uh, cultural treasures from the territory which is not controlled by the government. Mm. Uh, that is, we have to establish control. and. Uh, um, this is a good lesson for us to learn that to be prepared for any situation when there is the risk that control will be lost by government authorities over some uh, museum treasures. And uh, this requires building up a new system instead of the old Soviet system, which was based on party directives. There is uh, no party directives anymore to get um, it is impossible to get such directives in case of emergency. While the museums continue, they are not independent, they continue to wait for such uh, uh, party directives. And uh, this uh, puts uh, all the museums under considerable threat. Uh, so the uh, degree of threat, there is a degree of communication between museums and the Ministry of Culture. If the Ministry of Culture issues some order or some uh, resolution about an emergency or threat, the uh, uh, oblast level, the regional level, should be able to uh, perceive this communication immediately and not wait for several months. Uh, and. Uh, just as uh, information about uh, uh, transportation of heavy weaponry, this should not be public information. Uh, um, basically, we call upon uh, uh, organizing monitoring missions uh, 
we asked the Council of U Europe to do that. Uh, I meant the specialized missions, uh, monitoring missions of UNESCO. I will remind you there was this uh, awful uh, case in Afghanistan when Taliban uh, ruined the statue of Buddha and uh, they believed that this monument was lost. It was in the list of the World Heritage and UNESCO made the decision to include it into the list of uh, monuments which are under threat. After that, they organized a big monitoring mission, which using all the channels, diplomatic, uh, uh, special services, and so on, they managed to organize control over this monument. The monument has been restored now, and it is uh, in the stable, normal condition. These actions, even though the territory is controlled by Talibs, uh, this uh, helped to preserve this uh, monument. What Ukraine needs to do, the delegation which has the powers, which will have the powers at the meeting of the Center of World Heritage, of course, getting the approval uh, of the government, because that's the governmental delegation, I believe they should uh, uh, submit the request to the Center of the World Heritage to pass a decision to include Kirsanes into the list of the monuments which are under the threat, and then it automatically launches the mechanism of the specialized monitoring mission. Thank you, colleagues. Unfortunately, we have no more time. Uh, thank you, Timur. Thank you, Vasil, for participation. See you later. Thank you.